so the topic that I have been asked to discover in this uh, 7 to 10 minutes is uh, um, what actually chemotherapy and, bi and biological treatment add to the um, chemoradiotherapy approach that we have uh, as an adjuvant um, um, uh, treatment in patients with uh, locally advanced rectal cancer. And the first thing that perhaps we should uh, make clear is that um, uh, over the, the past decades there, there has been a decrease in the in the rate of local failure over time, and this is really very constant. Um, as you can see in this slide, in, in very different series. But unfortunately, when we look at the number of patients that actually develop um, eventually uh, distant metastasis uh, during the evolution of the disease, um, there is no, there are no major differences over time, um, depending whether patients have been treated only with chemotherapy or with chemotherapy with adjuvant chemoradiotherapy. Uh, or with surgery followed by radiotherapy alone, or even with the new um, schedules of neoadjuvant chemoradiotherapy followed by um, mesorectal excision. So this actually opens a point on how we should uh, evolve in the next future, trying to um, accomplish and to um, develop a new chemotherapy or chemobiological approaches uh, for treating patients with uh, locally or advanced disease in the adjuvant setting. And the history actually uh, gets to a point uh, that uh, everyone would agree with the seminal trial on, on the evaluation of preoperative treatment uh, conducted by the German group and um, published uh, um, in the New England Journal of Medicine. And it was very clear at that time point that with uh, the uh, preoperative approach of chemo radiotherapy uh, before surgery, uh, without increasing uh, very much uh, the, the uh, side effects, and actually as you can see in this slide, the side effects uh, were lower in the preoperative arm, it was very clear that we were able to, dec to decrease in a, in a very important way the number of patients that had uh, local relapse. And nevertheless, uh, with uh, this particular trial, we were not able to increase uh, the disease-free survival and overall survival over time at five years, for example, but certainly uh, the local recurrence uh, was clearly decreased at the five years time point. Naturally, we have also information coming from other trials where uh, we see that um, by the introduction of chemotherapy to the neoadjuvant radiotherapy approach, there is a, a clear uh, decrease in the in the local, uh, local recurrent rate uh, over time, and as it is clearly demonstrated in this uh, meta-analysis uh, published uh, some years ago.